Hey guys, I'm going to be doing this smoky plum brown eyes for you. And everything I use will be listed over there to your right in that info box. Just click more info in case you don't catch everything I say throughout this tutorial. And that's about it. Hope you enjoy it. So I've already applied foundation and concealer as I normally would. And I've also filled in my brows just a little bit. And I have a little bit of lip balm on my lips to condition it for the time being. So now I'm going to apply my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is basically a base or primer that will help um, prevent creasing and fading of your shadows throughout the day. I'm just going to apply this all over the lid and also a little bit underneath the lower lash line. Just like that. And we're just going to let that set for a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to take my Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow and I believe this one is in pink petals. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm going to take this really deep deep plum shade right here and a concealer brush. You can use any brush that will just help smooth out that cream onto your lids. I'm just going to take a little bit and apply all over the lids starting closest by your lash line and then just spreading it out and having it fade upwards. So you just want to apply it until it reaches your crease area and then just have it all blended out and fade it up. So it should pretty much look like this. And this cream base that I applied is not only going to serve as like a sticky base for my shadows to stick onto and look even more intense, um, the deepness of this cream base is also going to give more depth to the whole look. So now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Hip Duo in Charisma and my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to dip it into this really, really light pinky plum color right here. It just has a bit of a sheen, it's not too shimmery. And I'm going to apply this right into my crease. And the crease is where you should feel it sinking right into your eye socket. You just want a nice soft wash of that right up top here. I'm also going to apply just a little bit right on the inner third. So as you bring it into the crease, you can also bring a little bit down right here into the inner corner of your lid. I'm going to take this gorgeous, rich, shimmery chocolate shadow. This is Milani's Java Bean. I believe the MAC dupe for this is either Mulch or Sable, but any shimmery deep chocolate color will do. And I'm just going to take this shader brush, it's a Sephora shadow brush, and I'm going to apply this right on the center part of my lid. Just blend it all in. Just leave this outer edge open. I'm going to take the deep purple shade of this L'Oreal Charisma Duo and the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and just really give some depth to that outer edge. Just fill in the rest of your lid and you're just going to sweep it up into the crease a little bit just to give it more dimension. Now you can go back and make any touch-ups if you need to. I'm just going to take my blending brush that I had the crease color on earlier and just kind of blend out this outer edge a little bit more. Just to soften up the edges. Now I'm going to take another e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm going to take my Sally Girl shadow in soft pink. It's just a really light, shimmery, baby pink color. And I'm going to apply that to the brow bone. Starting right underneath my brow and then sweeping it right into the rest of the colors. So it all blends in. Now I'm going to take my little e.l.f. lip brush that I use as an inner corner brush and I'm going to dip it into that soft pink again. And I'm just going to apply that right on the inner tear duct of my lower lash line. 
Also just bring it up right around here, just swoop it upwards. It's just going to brighten up the eye a little bit since we have so much dark going on. And I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk angled liner brush and I'm going to dip it into that deep purple. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line the, the rest of the way. I usually like to start on the outer edge because I like it thicker on the outer edge and I like it thinning out as I go inwards. Now I'm going to dip it into that java bean, that brown color, Milani java bean. And I'm going to go right underneath that dark purple. Now I'm going to apply my black Ami liner pencil on my waterline and also on my upper lash line. The waterline is just this inner rim right above your lower lashes. This, this step is optional. Also line your upper lash line as close to your lashes as possible. So I went ahead and already curled my lashes and now I'm going to apply my CoverGirl Lash Blast in Waterproof um, to my top and bottom lashes. I've also already went ahead and contoured my face using NYX Blush in Taupe. It's similar to Max Emote. And I do have a separate video on how I contour my face and my nose, so feel free to check that out. Now I'm going to take Milani's Luminous Blush and this Holiday Edition um, MAC 129 brush. And I'm just going to apply this right on the cheekbone area. Now I'm going to take my Revlon Matte Lipstick in Nude Attitude looks just like that. I believe the MAC dupe for this is Myth. And just apply that on my lips. Okay. I'm going to take Revlon's Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Life the Peach. It's just this really light peach gloss. And apply that right over it. So now we have some peachy nude lips, and we're all done. Let's take out this clip. And that's the completed look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good one. Bye.